What's up guys, it's Machanga back with another video. So today we're looking at an ultra portable 14 inch laptop. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 7. There are a couple of different models available and outside of the US, this is also called a Yoga Slim 7. I'll leave affiliate links in the video description for both the AMD Ryzen models and the Intel variants. You can pick one up for a little over $700 on B&H, but I've seen it as low as $630 at Staples. My review unit is running the Intel Core i5 1035G1 CPU along with the NVIDIA GeForce MX350. We get 8 gigs of RAM and sadly it's soldered to the motherboard so whichever configuration you buy you're stuck with for the life of the laptop. There's also 512 gigs of NVMe storage which is plenty for most people. The big reason to consider this laptop is for the portability. At a little over 3 pounds or 1.4 kilograms, it's not a heavy machine even with this all metal chassis. Nothing really compares to my all black P1, but the slate gray here looks good. It looks and feels premium. This has a 180 degree hinge that is nice and smooth. I love a minimal design and this Slim 7 is thin and light enough to carry comfortably to school and work. Only time will tell the full picture about durability, but the build quality seems to be excellent. This is a 14 inch 1920 by 1080 IPS display that's decently bright and color accurate. It covers 100% sRGB and measures in at around 300 nits of brightness, but it is glossy so reflections are reality. I think this is the first time in ages that I've used the laptop without a touchscreen, but this one isn't touch. Overall though, text clarity and image quality are very good on the screen and the bezels are reasonably slim. At the top of this display, there's a 720p webcam that is Windows Hello compatible for facial recognition. In addition to logging into the laptop, it's sufficient for Microsoft Teams, Google Meets, and Zoom calls. I don't complain about built-in webcams anymore because they are all nearly the same. If you prefer to log into your laptop with your fingerprint, there's a fingerprint reader integrated into the power button here on the right side. I like this placement, plus it's fast and accurate. Let's look at the ports. On the left, we have the USB-C port to power the laptop, a HDMI port, a Thunderbolt 3 port. Just keep in mind, this Thunderbolt 3 port will be USB-C on the Ryzen Slim 7. And last, we get a headphone microphone combo jack. Moving to the right side, we have the power button with the integrated fingerprint reader, two USB type A ports, and the micro SD card reader. While this isn't a ThinkPad keyboard, it's a nice backlit keyboard with good key travel and comfortable spacing. It's much nicer than several more expensive laptops I've tested. The trackpad is smooth, responsive, and accurate. I've had no issues using any gestures on it and it's a good size for this 14 inch. Also, here on the keyboard deck, we have dual front firing speakers that support Dolby Audio. They sound better than speakers placed on the bottom and they get loud. As with a lot of laptop speakers, they lack some low end, but I found them to be good for watching movies. I prefer and recommend headphones for listening to music though. So let's talk performance. The Intel Core i5 processor paired with the NVIDIA MX350 perform well for everyday tasks like browsing the web, typing up emails and reports, using the full Microsoft suite of applications, watching YouTube videos, Netflix, and a whole lot more. It's no slouch, so if you're a student searching for an affordable laptop for coursework or you're someone that needs power and portability, this is a good choice. It can handle Photoshop, Lightroom, and HD video editing. But what about gaming on this GPU? As long as you're not expecting gaming laptop performance, I think you'll be satisfied with the casual gaming capabilities of the Slim 7. We tested a few games and got playable frame rates on all of them. Realistically, you want to stick to low settings in 1080p in most games, but Fortnite, 
Rocket League and Valorant did very well with higher quality settings. I think it's great to be able to transition from handling business to a little gaming on a travel friendly laptop like this one. I didn't have high expectations for any gameplay and if you want to maximize the performance, you have the option to connect an external GPU with the Thunderbolt 3 support. Before, during, and after running the benchmarks and playing some games, I noticed that the fans didn't get too loud and the laptop didn't get very hot to the touch. Thermal throttling is always a concern, especially on the thinner, lighter machines like this one. And if you're going to be running intensive tasks for extended periods, you might experience some slowdown, but I didn't. Before we wrap up, battery life is good and it's competitive with similarly priced machines in this form factor. I normally run the display between 80 and 100% brightness, so I got around 8 hours usually. If you turn it down a bit, you can easily squeeze 10 hours out of this battery as long as you're not taxing the GPU. So do I recommend the IdeaPad Slim 7? Yes, I do and that's due to the price, power, and portability. Personally, I would jump on the AMD Ryzen Slim 7 if it were available in the US. So for those of you watching outside of the country, check out the Ryzen model. It will have very similar, if not better performance. Well, that's it for this one. If you have questions about this laptop or any others you want me to take a look at, let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comment section and let me know you like it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.